So, hello everybody. So it's great pleasure to have today here in this dynamic system seminar at the University of Porto, virtually. Uh, to, today's uh, speaker is Rodrigo Bisacu from Universidade de São Paulo, Brazil, and he'll talk about thermodynamic formalism in countable Markov shifts, and we'll talk more about that. So please, Rodrigo. Okay, so thank you, Paulo, for the invitation. Is my first time in Porto, <laughs> virtually and also in person. Uh, so Hope we, can, uh, we can change that in, in the near future. <laughs> so okay. So so this uh, is uh, uh, still a work in progress um, with uh, Rui Exo from Santa Catarina in, in Brazil. Thiago Razeja is my student. Uh, and Rodrigo Felzini is, is my former master student. Now he is starting the PhD in, with Aidan uh, Sims in, in, in Wolong. So, so, uh, so, so the main idea of the, the, the talk is try to, to let's say, to, to explain uh, in some kind of naive and uh, uh, way, which is this generalized which came from some kind of uh, algebraic setting, and uh, explain how we we are working with this space, uh, more or less as in the in the uh, standard quantum uh, uh, Markov shift uh, framework, and uh, the connections that we, we discovered recently, and uh, it, that's it. It's more or less the the, the try to uh, half of the talk will be not uh, about my results. And, 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 and more or less will be old, but just to try to, to explain the, okay, uh, the properties of this space and, the, and the, try to make natural what we uh, will do after. So uh, this is the, the, the tentative. Probably uh, at some moment I will just, will jump to the, to the end for the results. And I will, uh, I will uh, spend most of the time in the, in the top two, uh, trying to explain what I mean by generalized quantum Markov shift. And the end, I will, I will show some, some, some results that we got uh, recently. Uh, so uh, we we uh, start. With, uh, this, this guy from Operator Algebra School, he, he, he passed one month here in Sao Paulo with us. And uh, if you like this uh, sister algebra and groupoid and this kind of uh, uh, more algebraic and functional analysis, uh, let's say, taste, you, you can watch a video in, uh, in ICM channel and uh, YouTube, and, uh, which is a, a talk, let's say, about the same project, but uh, with a very different, uh, uh, let's say, perspective. I will try to focus exactly in the, what we have in common with quantum Markov shifts and thermodynamic formulae. But if you, if you like, if you are aware about this kind of stuff, you, you can go there. We have two preprints already in our archive. Actually, the first one, the, the version is not the bad one. We just, uh, it's not, it's not the, 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 the best one. We will put a, a new version soon. But the second one is uh, kind of, uh, People which are uh, aware about Gibbs measure and the DLR measures is, is a kind of, uh, let's say, DLR measures in the setting of uh, group points. So the second one is better written. And, and then the first one, we have to put a, a, a new version soon. And uh, uh, basically the space was, was discovered in this paper, uh, more or less uh, 20 years ago. And uh, and now uh, my, my my student is finishing the, his thesis. Now we are checking the. I, I, I'm reading the thesis to to, to send to the, the committee, and uh, we in particular we are trying to, to do and uh, some some kind of uh, uh, ergot theory friendly uh, 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 version of some of the results and trying to do something more, let's say ergot theory flavor of this object and the thermodynamic uh, formalism involved with, for, with this space. Uh, 
Acho ele, I have to thank Paulo, acho ele Manuel, acho ele mainly Manuel. Uh, after ICM, we, uh, in last year, uh, Manuel invited me to, to give a, a talk in Rio de Janeiro, but uh, exactly because Paulo uh, missed the, the conference. I don't know why Paulo was not there, but Paulo was not there, and so uh, I, I had the opportunity to speak on this conference in Rio. And this, uh, what I will present today, exactly is the, are the consequences of this uh, meeting that uh, I was in Rio uh, last year. So we met uh, Manfred Denker and tried to extend the, the results for, for, for him. And he, uh, he, he, he showed this, uh, uh, this paper. So we, which, he, which is nice in, in this paper is, is kind of thermodynamic formalism for for interrelated function system, but uh, is not uh, restricted to the uh, shift space. What which is nice here is is a let's say a, a metric space, topological space. So let's say you, you, the, the, your configuration space is much more general. Is this was exactly what we need at this moment? That's why it was uh, we are using. Let's say one of the main reference for this talk today is let's say apply the results of Denker and Yuri to this. Uh, generalized quantum of a Markov shift. And of course, one of the main references also is, is the papers of study. Uh, so maybe I have to, to, be, to, be, to be honest, okay, to be how this uh, uh, space appear in the first time. So, so I will not talk about uh, Cesar algebra, it's just because I have to do this remark because it's the origin of everything. So th th there is this paper very famous in Cistar Algebras, uh, which essentially they introduced this, uh, this uh, Cistar Algebra generated by a, a finite collection of isometries, and uh, which satisfies these two relations. You have an incidence, uh, a incidence matrix here, and you take this, doesn't matter right now what is a Cistar Algebra, but I, I have to tell you, okay, what is a, Oh, how, uh, how this was born. So you take this generated by this. So during a, long of, uh, a lot of time, uh, one important problem is it was the following. Okay, what is the, the, the natural generalization when you have uh, an infinitely many uh, partial geometries and what, how you can do the equivalent Kunskinger uh, algebra for if you have infinitely many of them. So this uh, took 20 years. And uh, it was solved in this paper of Axel and Laka. And uh, I just will give you a flavor. Okay, you have to try to discover some kind of uh, analogous uh, condition to this. No, note that it's not obvious what you have to do because we have finite sum here. And they, okay, among another uh, three conditions, they found this. So this now you have an, inf uh, an infinite uh, incidence, incidence uh, matrix. And uh, you, you, you put some condition on finite pairs uh, or, 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 or on pairs of finite subsets of N. And you ask that your, your, your infinite collection of partial isometries uh, satisfies this relationship when uh, this uh, co coefficient uh, uh, A, uh, X, Y is, is non zero only for a finite number of, of J's. So this is some kind of, uh, and well, I, I will not uh, uh, pay attention on this here, but this is the, let's say, this is the main idea that uh, gives origin for all this that I will, I will explain today. And uh, if you, if you uh, apply this condition to the finite number of uh, partial isometries, you recover uh, the Kunskriger algebra. So this is kind of no, non uh, obvious uh, idea to try to generalize something to finite, to infinite, to infinite number of, uh, uh, objects. So, and then I, what I will do now, I will construct uh, first the topological version of the space. And after what I will do, I, I will try to, to go in the direction of uh, how we work today and uh, essentially is more or less as you work in, in, the, in the standard case. So I, I, uh, this is some kind of only to to, to keep in mind that the object itself is concrete. You, you have some time to uh, uh, get some, some, some property, but in general, after a while, you just uh, play as you play in the standard 
a count of a Markov sheet. So you have an infinitely, uh, an infinitely irreducible matrix uh, is always the standard hypothesis. And uh, just to, to, to give you a flavor, you, 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 you consider this uh, uh, Gilbert space with which the cardinality is the, the elements of your standard count of a Markov shift with alphabet natural numbers. And uh, you, you take a, a, a system algebra generator, Don't, doesn't matter now what is this because I will focus on the a, a subspace for us, which is generated by partial isometries indexed by the natural numbers. And these uh, partial isometries, they act in the, in the space according to your in this instance matrix. For example, one possibility is this. When you take the canonical basis for your space, remember that you, you number of elements are, are the number of elements of the standard count of Markov shift. For example, if you have a natural number in a sequence, this is an element of the count of Markov shift, you put, you just, let's say, uh, take another uh, element of your base if your mate uh, allow looking for the first coordinate of your sequence. This is a, is a, you have to, you have to take the adjunct of, of also the but the, this is an example of action. I, I will not get, give you the details because I want to go to the, the space. And uh, after this, you can uh, compose this. You 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 and uh, you 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 can you can generate uh, 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 operators which are combination of this previous one and take the inverse one also, and you have so the elements of the free group generated by the natural numbers. What's important here that uh, uh, this uh, 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 EG, uh, they, they, they are projections and they commute each other. This is a key, uh, key step now. And, uh, and now I'm almost there. So I just take uh, the sister algebra. Don't, don't, don't care about what exactly do you, you create. This, this is the standard procedure to create a generator, generate this kind of uh, algebra. But uh, the important thing that these elements, they commute each other. And so you have, this, uh, you have these three uh, inclusions. So a commutative sister algebra, the Excel itself, and the, the algebra of the bounded operators on this Hilbert space. So this is the, are, are the main objects, and uh, and then let's uh, see the the first version of this space. So uh, what happens that uh, you, when you have a, a, an algebra, you 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 can take the spectrum, which are the linear functions, the that uh, the linear functions which you 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 are compatible with the product, and. Uh, one important thing that we use during all the talk, this, will, this property uh, will allow me, uh, uh, let's say, uh, work as a configuration space as everybody is, uh, is aware uh, already. So, so this, the fact that uh, the, the functionals uh, are, are characters, you, you implies that the image of any of these, proje uh, these projections at, at the beginning is only zero one. This more or less already appears the flavor of these configurations of filled or not in some kind of positions. And uh, uh, now we start to, the things start more and more concrete. Uh, what are you do? Are you send? Are you embed continuously uh, this uh, uh, space of characters uh, inside of this uh, my configuration space? So the the, the vertices here are. The, the free group generated by the natural numbers, and you just uh, put the image, the, the image of each of these projections. So as I just said, it is a zero, one in each position. So this will be very important. And uh, now we more or less uh, the, uh, did everything. So you have this space. This will be my, my generalized count of Markov shift. Right now it's very, some kind of mysterious why this is a, a count of, but this will be very clear in a, in a few minutes. And the first thing that uh, as a space of the linear function, uh, functionals, uh, you can put the weak topology and the weak topology, Banakawa glue, you always know that this is at least locally compact. So this is why the, our space is always locally compact because concretely he is, the, is a set of uh, 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 characters on this algebra. And uh, you have these terms of uh, classification of algebras and you know that there is no escape. If you have a commutative C-star algebra, Certainly, 
uh, this algebra is or a collection of the function co continuous function which decays at zero at infinity, or if the if the 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 in the compact case when when the the, the x a is is a compact, so uh, this is the, just the, the set of com the continuous functions. So that is you cannot invent a new uh, let's say uh, system of algebra if com if it, the algebra is commutative. Certainly, is this type. And uh, now this is what the, the most let's say if you if you watch the video of Ruexo and ICM this is the best part of for me and that's why I'm convinced that this is a, a natural way because when you have finite uh, finite number of symbols what happens that this is exactly the the continuous function on the standard uh, uh, shift space when you have a finite number of symbols so you see. The, the this more or less telling you that we when you when this is space x a when you have finitely many uh, uh, symbols is this is exactly the your, your shift space usually and also further when you have a locally compact my quantum markov shift the same happens so i mean equal means uh, homeomorphic so this is a, a proof that uh, actually this space really is a generalization in the sense that when you have finite number of symbols, coincides. When you have a locally compact quantum Markov shift, coincides. So when you are not this, this is something else, but certainly is not the usual, for example, take a full shift, a quantum Markov shift is a full shift. This space is not locally compact, so cannot be equal. So there is some, it should be another thing and you, you, you understood this. And uh, now, okay, this is concrete. This is what mathematically what this space is. But uh, uh, Hui and, uh, and uh, Laka, they did a lot of work to try to, to explain this in terms of, uh, uh, let's say, symbolic space. So I will try to, to follow very fast, but try to, to keep it in mind that what we want in, in the end is work as an account of Markov shift. So uh, in the first naive look, in terms of symbolic, in, in, in some kind of symbolic language, will be the following. This new space will be the standard count of Markov shift plus a special set of finite allowed words. Con concretely, will be this. And uh, okay, in addition, both sets are dense in the XA. This is always true for this setting. So the, the so concretely, the generalized count of Markov shift will be the original count of Markov shift plus a special set of uh, uh, finite allow the words that I will explain which are these words. And uh, so the setting is this, you have uh, the, the, the alphabet is N, you have the incidence make everything, always uh, transitive because of technical reasons. And uh, this is important thing, in general, you not, it's not locally compact, the, 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 your, 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 your quantum Markov shift, but our space is. And uh, and uh, this is what I just said to you. Both, the, both sets, the original quantum Markov shifts as a subset of the, the generalized are, is a, a, a dense a subset. And also this uh, set of finite words is also uh, 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 is dense on the, on the generalized local uh, quantum Markov shift. This is uh, uh, a strong property that you use to prove things on, on this setting. And uh, to try to make things more and more, uh, let's say, intuitive, I will keep in my mind some of the results in the end also are for, for, for the renewal shift. Let's keep this uh, very uh, uh, classical uh, count of Markov shift. Not, you, uh, can I ask you a question? Yes, yes. So uh, in the previous slide, so if, if you start with a locally compact uh, uh, countable Markov shift, so... Yes, so if you start with this, you get nothing more. It's exactly the same space. Okay, great. That this is actually is a very important point. More or less shows to you that let's say this was the the moment that I was convinced that okay, I have to look this. Yeah. Okay. Because is equal uh, to the compact level is equal locally compact level. So if you go beyond, you find something new. Okay, great. Thanks. And uh, this is the original linear shift. So what is the a generalized linear shift. Let's let's try to go to this direction. So now I will explain which are the finite uh, uh, admissible words which you put on this space. 
these words are exactly the words that you obtain when you have symbols, which you have infinitely many possibilities to go to another one. So, in any, in, in, this is totally general. I am using the new because it is easier to, to do the, the, the calculations. But uh, if you, you have a computer macro shift, you take the symbols, which uh, you have infinitely many uh, options to go. These are the end of the words which you, you find on YA. So in, for the renewal shift, there is only one symbol that has this property. This is a symbol one. So I, I know precisely uh, which are these words. Uh, also, an empty word is also possible. I will explain why after. The, if you bore you now, empty word, you, we can discuss after. You can maybe, I don't know. But uh, in this case, oh, empty word is also possible. So this is the generalized uh, renewal shift. And now I, 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 gave a, I gave a talk time ago in Florianopolis and someone started to, okay, because you know, this is, since this is not the classical one, it's very natural to try to find an excuse to not to look this because, okay, I know, I don't know. And uh, what happens that someone says, okay, but why, why I should look for this generalized uh, renewal shift? I know the, the previous one. Yes, but look this. One thing that you can prove for this space is the following. If you have a line of, if you have a line of ones, the space is compact. So in the renewal shift, of course, you have a line of ones because you have the line of one is go to everybody. So immediately, your space is compact. So, so, so now the new shift, the new renewal shift is a compact space. So, well, so now if you more or less remember what I said in the beginning of the talk, you have this paper of Denker Yuri. And there you, you, you can find some, some results which are for compact space, not exactly shift space, but for general one. So I can apply here and I can try, I can try to find conformal measures, and negative measures and, and do everything because now I have, I have these formulas that works for not only for symbolic space, but also for more general space. So I can apply it here and try to recover things for the original shift space. This is more or less the idea of what I'm trying to do here. And, uh, and now, so this is the, let's say, the, 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 na the first naive uh, symbolic, uh, let's say, step. And now a little bit more. And this, you have to look for this if you want to do the proofs. And uh, now I will try to look for this, this new symbolic space as in space reconfiguration uh, here uh, on the, on the, on the, uh, okay, I, I, can, I can do things here. Let's say I will, I will try to, to, to look for the, my space inside of this configuration space of zero one to the, the, uh, the, the free group. And the, uh, whoops, okay, wait. I will try to go out of here, okay. So, so maybe just to not be very, let's say mysterious, uh, for example, how, how I can see the original uh, count of Markov shift inside of this uh, generalized one. So remember, uh, uh, when I start, I start with this Hilbert space, which the, the, the cardinal of the, the base is exactly my count of Markov shift. So uh, I take the, the canonical base. This is the canonical base, this is delta x. And uh, for, each, for each symbol, for, for, uh, sorry, for, for each sequence, I take, this, I take this function which now is an element of, uh, uh, of is, uh, is a uh, character. So it is a linear function. So this gives me, uh, I can produce, so this, uh, this uh, linear uh, functional, which is exactly to evaluate the, the operator. Now I just want to, to evaluate it on this commutative part. It, it takes the, 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 the product in the, your Hilbert space. This is a concrete embedding, is a continuing embedding from your original quantum Markov shift inside of this, and you can make the composition and put inside of the configura configuration space. So it's a lot of natural things you do when you take these things. And uh, I, this is a bit ugly, but I will explain with pictures. But you, so, so which are the configurations that I will find here to, to represent my uh, uh, generalized quantum Markov shift? So uh, will be configurations, which the, the unity of the, the, the the free group is all, it always filled, it's always one. 
you have uh, you you don't have the the you cannot for example if you have a point you cannot uh, have two directions you cannot do this because remember i i have uh, i want to be a sequence i i, I want sequence infinite sequence or finite uh, uh, words so i don't i don't want this so there is only at most one this is the second part and the the third one that you explain with a picture uh, which is uh, this so if you if you fill it two for example if you fill it if you fill it two of this these uh, uh, points to discover the previous one you you use your your matrix so what I'm saying that you use your mate to, to your incident matrix to to discover how are these configurations? They always are uh, connected when you see, and uh, you have to remember that at the end the the vectors of this the, this Kelly tree will be the elements of the the, the free group, uh, which you fill it with this rule that I just say, and the the edges will be oriented, labeled by the natural numbers. With the examples, will be more more clear for you. So. Uh, let's say, for example, so remember, uh, the generalizer in your shift is exactly this. This is the, the, the first is the, the standard one, and the second are the standard word plus finite words with ends with one. So, which means that uh, the, the new elements of the, my generalizer shift are exactly these words which is the last symbol is one. So, how do you see in the configuration space this thing? And this uh, is how we work. You see, uh, this is a configuration uh, which I uh, we fill it with the rules. And uh, if you if you realize what is the what what, what is happened here is is exactly uh, the connections are exactly which are allowed by the matrix. So if you remember the, the matrix of the renewal shift is exactly one. The rest, which is not filled, is, is empty, is zero, let's say. And the, the main thing that, okay, how I, I see in the configuration space, my standard uh, count of Markov field, the elements of my standard, and also the finite word, which I said that this, the, the, the shift is essentially this. So each configuration will, will have a, 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 what we call a stem, with some kind of main main part, main directions in the positive after you after you cross the after you cross the 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 after you cross the identity, you have some kind of pos positive part for here. So so this will be some kind of a main stem of this configuration, and this. Uh, Remember, I stop it here because let's say three, two, one is, is finished with one. So this is uh, one of the finite words that I, I have in my space. So what happens is that after the identity of the, of the free group, you have this or an infinite element of my standard or a finite word, which are in this position. So I have, I think I have better pictures. I have to, I have to erase, sorry. Uh, 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 uh. So this is a, the stem, and uh, and uh, uh, okay, really the stem is the word, the the, the last word, but it's better to think in this stem because it will be some an infinite path or a finite path. So uh, in the end of the day, what happens is you have these stems which be finite words or infinite uh, sequence. Of my standard constant Markov shift, and they are in this position after the the identity of the free group, and I play with this finite or infinite uh, sequence, and after a while, you you play more or less as you do in the in the in the standard case. So this is just uh, to to understand how it works. You have some kind of negative part, the past. And this is the stem. I, I forgot to put the e together. And what you do with the shift, shift action, you just cut the first letter from everything. So this may be a better picture. Exactly this. So you, your shift map is really the shift. You have the word three, two, one. Cut the three. 
but you have to good uh, to, to be compatible with your structure of the, your your group. You have to put, you have to cut uh, everywhere. So this is the the the, the new configuration. And I just just to, to try to to okay where are the, the where are going the parts of the graph is exactly this. I I, I can send the slide to uh, to someone which want more details. But essentially, is the the usual is the usual thing. So so and the and the I will skip the the, the empty word for a moment because I am afraid of the time. But uh, uh, what what I, what I have to to. To highlight here is the following. Uh, basically, what you you have is uh, a space of these main stems, which are the elements of the standard quantum Markov shift or fi finite words with you you obtain by this process of limit, and you just act with your shifts as usual. There is a, this is point that we empty word that you cannot apply. So the shift is partially defined is local uh, is a local ohmio, and the uh, you play as this, and, and you, you more or less you work. The, the, only, the only difference is that uh, some, some, sometimes the, the you know, for example, the shift is not completely defined for every space, for the entire space, and you have to take care of this. But is the rest definition is more or less everything is standard. And uh, so the infinite stems are the, the elements of the, the, the standard conformal shift, and, and the, in the in the finite words it is is that you obtain by this process of limit. This is very important. The cylinders here, uh, let's say, when you, why a cylinder is a finite number of points on, on your on your lead. So let's say a finite no, number of of points or, or your your free group, uh, and you fix this, and the, the rest is free. They are compact. So this is a very different respect to the, the original uh, uh, quantum Markov shift, and this helps a lot to produce proofs. Because you, for example, you, you want you want to prove that some sequence of measures uh, are a tight sequence, so you cannot do this kind of argument if you're you, in the standard uh, quantum Markov because the, the cylinders are not good; they are not comp compact. So here you can do this. And uh, well, I already said this that the the shift is a local uh, local map. You cannot apply it in the empty words. I, I'm avoiding empty words. I can discuss after. So so okay so. Now I will discuss some in detail, and you can stop if you want. But uh, the definitions are exactly the same, unless that, for example, let's say conformal measure, you 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 have to take care about the the the, the where you can apply the shift, but the rest the rest is equal. Is the, the just the usual definition of conformal measure, and we try to study conformal measure in, on this new space. And uh, okay, this was one of the first uh, results that uh, we found. And uh, well, what is the, what the goal? Let's try. Okay, you have this et extra part of the space. Let's try to find conformal measures there. But you look, the the the, the set of the finite words are countable. So essentially, these measures are, are are atomic measures. So you this is you can play with this fact and. You can prove that if you have a potential, I just take off the empty word. In the in the case of the this is the for the renewal shift I forgot to, to put. And uh, if the infimo is positive, so you have a unique uh, conformal measure, uh, which gives mass, mass zero to the, the standard quantum Markov shift. Remember the, the generalized quantum Markov shift is exactly the union of the standard one plus the finite words. And uh, if you if you have uh, uh, abundant above function, you know that uh, below of this log two over the soup, there is no conformal measure which vanish on the standard conformal on the standard quantum Markov shift. This is kind of this is a kind of a very lucky result because you know you 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 have some kind of uh, interval here when you know that uh, let's say. Uh, below, you have no, you, you have no conformal measure here, and above, you have you have conformal measures. Yes, yes, very ugly. And uh, but uh, you you see, uh, if you for example the the what is the, what is the, the the denominator of these two bounds are the infimo and the soup. So okay. 
let's let's do the infimum in the soup equal. So take care of a constant function, for example. And uh, if you do this, the interval where you don't know disappears, and you can prove this. So log two is exactly the topological entropy of the of the linear shift of the standard linear shift. Take the potential, which is the constant one. I know that in the beginning, I have to be honest. Now we have no much potentials yet, because uh, okay, this is just the starting point. But I have some kind of more complicated at the end. But this is the the, the potential is very is very basic. It's just a constant. But uh, you have this very precise uh, uh, result that for uh, bigger than topological entropy, you have this conformal probability, which is the new one. They only give mass to the to the finite words, and uh, below this, you have no. And precisely in the in the in the critical point, you have a a, a measure which is conform. But is this measure from the standard the standard uh, uh, quantum Markov shift, which gives gives uh, let's say leaves uh, on on the on the sigma a exactly the measure gives uh, gives mass one to the standard. To the standard uh, space. So this is kind of nice result because you see you have a family of measure giving mass one to the finite words and take the weak topology, the to sorry, the weak convergence of the probability and you converge to someone which gives mass one to the complement space. Is this kind of uh, phenomenon that we are, which appears in kind of the critical point in this kind of stuff. So, so we got this. And uh, okay, this this is just uh, the, the, the but yes. Do you know uh, something about number of conformal measures? Uh, in this in this uh, moment, they are unique. They are unique. Yes, because okay, because uh, okay, it's not a very deep thing. It's just because when you write the equation of conformality, since you have a. a, a uh, let's say a quantum number of points. You, this this reduce to you some kind of equation, and you can control everything. So this kind of you get free the unicity. Okay. And uh, okay, now I, I I will skip some kind of boring details. Try to explain what is the the, the main the main point. You, you 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 as I said, always you have to okay. I cannot put the definite the, the for example the the potential. The potential should be defined only and the, the, the points when you can apply the shift. Why? Otherwise, you cannot define the well operator, for example. You see, you, you want, to, you, you, you want to, to put this function on Y, and this you have to be able to apply the shift map. So, you, but, but essentially, it's the same. You, you, have, you have just to, to take care a bit, but the, the rest you, you can just, uh, let's say, work usually. OK, I will. I will I will, I will skip of some kind of classical definition and try to, to give more flavor of the, the let's say, the, the results. Uh, this is a very nice result of Sarig, which is this kind of, because, okay, what, what's the, the, the game here? Uh, there is examples, even Sarig already proved this. Uh, for general shifts, you have, let's say, a lot of points of uh, phase transitions. You have a lot of uh, points. And uh, but for the renewal shift and regular potentials, they have the uh, he has this result that for the renewal shift and you have a weakly holder a continuous function. And so before a critical beta, there exists a conservative uh, eigen measure and associated to the, the, the standard uh, eigen value. And uh, after this, no. Uh, why I put in red conservative because is more or less as this uh, the machinery works. You you. You have the conservative measure, and you try to find uh, uh, eigen measures inside. This is if you read if you read the paper of Denker and Yuri, it's not like that. You just take accumulation points of uh, this uh, special set of probabilities, and you take accumulation point, and you in the end you discover that this measure is a, a conformal measure. Okay, so uh, this is our main reference for these last results, which what, what is the, the good thing that is not for a count of Markov shift, it's not for a symbol, it's totally general, the results. And uh, they have this notion, first take this uh, partition function based on this point, so you have the pre-measures of this point, this is the usual Birkhoff sum. 
and take uh, this uh, pressure point for for uh, for the space. Now I will apply it for for the our generalized quantum Markov shift. So take the limit soup and this uh, I will call pressure point. I know that there, there are other definitions, but let, let's get this. And uh, you know, uh, okay, let's stop a bit. Uh, well, if you read the, the literature that uh, Sarig produced and other other guy, other people, Urbanski, uh, Denker, and uh, uh, there is there are many papers. Uh, where you have a, a pressure uh, well defined. For example, this is the Gurevich pressure. Uh, if the shift is uh, topologically mixing, this, not, this does not depend on the symbol. You can take this limit, there's a radial limit, and you take this. But look, uh, uh, you see periodic orbs. So uh, you see, you, you, you are more or less are calculating a pressure only in the standard part of the space, only for infinite uh, uh, sequence. So this, this pressure in principle uh, is, not, uh, is not C, the, the finite words. So, so if I understood correctly, in some sense your new renewal shift, it uses uh, inverse limits. So finite words that finish it someplace. And so that's why you use the pressure which kind of looks inversely. So in at inverse branches, yeah? Yes, and, but, but this definition is not mine, let's say. It just was, uh, is already done. Just, yeah, yeah, just yeah. You, you go to back, but uh, this is more yes, or less- uh, Don't use the, the other one, it just, just looks forward, yeah? Yes, and the, and the okay, just this is a mere, more or less a key point. For example, what, what we did, well, this is a, was a tentative after this, the, we have only examples and this end now. Uh, the first thing what we did was the following. Okay, let's try find a potential which, let's say, coincide the pressure. So if the potential is, has this form, now it's not constant, but depending only on of one coordinate. So you, you can complain this very basic yet. Okay, I, I, I agree. But uh, for example, for this kind of potential, the pressure for each point coincide, the pressure is the same, is, is exactly the same of the Gurevich pressure. So it's fair enough to say that this is the pressure for this case, even if it's a finite uh, word and so on. So, so now uh, I will try to, 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 to find, to, to arrive in the end. And uh, this, for example, is one of the theorems that the, we, we, we discovered in this conference that the, Paulo, you, you was not there, but uh, okay, well, we were, and uh, we met Denker and they, okay, look this. And, uh, and this is the result, they have this paper. So look, uh, of course, it's not for, for the renewal shift, it is a, a general space for, 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 for them, but I can apply, uh, I can apply to, to the renewal shift to generalize it because the generalized renewal shift is compact, so I can use this. And they have this result. And okay, so apply on this, uh, on this potential. So we know already that the, the pressure is the, the original pressure, is the standard pressure. And, uh, and we can prove that you always have an AG, an AG measure. This is drastically dif different from the standard quantum Markov shift. You, 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 you have, you, 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 why we can apply? We can apply because it's compact. So this is some kind of advantage that you, when you work with this space, because it's always at least locally compact and many times uh, compact. And uh, if let's say, let's try to, to, okay, this is for the, what happens in the, in the original one. So in the original one, Using the machinery of Sarig, you have to use the discriminant theorem and a lot of things. Uh, maybe you can do the things that uh, we, we did by, by this path, but maybe you can do by, by force, let's say. And for Sarig, they have a, he, he has a critical point, which after this, there is no eigen, uh, eigen measure. Remember, when you are talking about Sarig, in principle, you are looking for the original space. And uh, before you have, a conservative measure. So what we got exactly that these measures actually are the same. 
when you uh, one thing that I didn't mention, but uh, I, this is just a cup of results. We we prove a lot of more things, but uh, I more or less uh, want to, to say a message. And uh, actually, the, the the measure the measure that I obtained by Denker and and Yuri uh, coincide on this part of of the the region of the beta. And that's why when I send the the abstract, uh, I made a mistake because uh, well I can't tell exactly precisely what happens. What, what we were reading this paper of Denker and uh, and Yuri, we didn't understand a, a cup of uh, results, and so we wrote to to him and very kind. He answered everything. And some moment you have this kind of result that you, if you know the pressure is positive, so you get the negative measure. They 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 have this also. And we apply and we were very, and in addition, they know where lives the measure. If you read the paper, you, you can find this, because it's, 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 my, it's a negative measure and also where lives the measure, they, they, they can prove this. And we, okay, we were very happy, and, but at the end we discovered that one hypothesis to this proof works, it's outside of our potential, uh, is outside of this hypothesis and we, okay. So okay, what happens is exactly, we know that these measures coincide, Denker, Yuri, and Sarig, but after we don't know. Maybe the measure goes to outside of the standard and quantum Markov shift and go to the finite words, we don't know. We are trying to, 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 to do things, but uh, we, we certainly it's not conservative because uh, if it's conservative, you have to come back infinitely many times and so you cannot go to these finite words. And um, just to, mention, to, to finish the, the, the talk, uh the let's say there is uh okay is a very natural idea to try to to construct uh compactification of this space and try to work on this bigger space and and after come back as i'm trying to do here and obtain results this is a, a natural uh, idea and a lot of people are doing this so this is a very very recent paper of offer schwartz is a, a student i don't know if he finished already or not of uh, on his Sarigi, and uh, he does this. He constructs what the, the people call marching boundary of the space. But uh, look, uh, he has to assume that the shift is locally compact. So one of the dimensions that we have here that we, it's, it's only transitive. Of course, it's more difficult, not uh, because you see, you, we are not able to consider so so general potential yet, but probably it's possible. And uh, but uh, for example. Also, he has to, 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 to put an hypothesis on the potential. We, we can play with potential. We, we have different uh, recurrence modes, let's say. So this is another dimension. So this is more or less uh, I want to say to you. And maybe the main message is that after a couple of, let's say, I don't know, a couple of weeks, more or less you can play as in the, in the standard contract Markov shift. It's not clear yet how many, uh, Let's say how many results we can obtain, how, how far we can go to the potentials. Now is very just examples. And what we did is try to connect the both uh, spaces, more or less clear that they're connected, and try to, let's say, use the properties that you are, the cylinders are compact and things like that to prove things for the original space. So thank you. Thank you, Rodrigo. Okay. Well, we we had time for uh, for discussions if you want either you ask directly or you can write uh, questions yes leandro uh, hi Padre. um do you know uh, how close is this uh, new shift compared with the um stone check compactification of your space I don't know. Uh, actually, uh, well, it's not exactly always that the, the X, uh, X, Y is, uh, X, I uh, is compact, sometimes it's not, but they use, you, you uh -huh. use the, uh, uh, this very small one point comp compactification. But let's say, uh, suppose that you, 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 you look for the, you look for, the for the new chic, for example, the new chic is compact. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, you, you want to know if this compactification, if this compact uh, as contains the original shift as this today is a compactification, is it storage cycle or not? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what I know is the following. Uh, you know, this this marching boundary is always a, is is also a compactification, right? Uh, 
So uh -huh. you have a clash of compensation. So one of the first questions that Manuel uh, asked me, is still in, in Rio, was if this, uh, okay, what is the relationship between this, uh, this uh, space and the marching boundary? Because uh, offer is using this, um, this compactification, and maybe are the same. But look, one, uh, this I can show, I can tell you, certainly is not the marching boundary, certainly is not the same as uh, the, uh, our compactification. Not our, I mean, this is an object defined by X7 LACA, but it's not, certainly is not the marching boundary. Why? Because when you have a locally compact quantum Markov shift, you get extra points as the offer does, does this. And when you do this procedure of like LACA, you got the same space. So I don't, it's on check, I don't know, but for uh -huh. sure it's not the marching boundary. Be why? Right. Because a marching boundary gives extra point in the locally compact Markov shift. And for XO and LACA, when you get this new space, if the quantum Markov shift is locally compact, the space is the same. So it's on check, right. I don't know, and, but the marching boundary certainly is not the same. Just one more question. Uh, I'd like to know if uh, whether you guys can define an entropy and perhaps the pressure like uh, Legend transform of this entropy. Have you thought well, about uh, that? It is a natural path, but uh, we didn't uh, we didn't do. Uh, we, we let's say we, we, the results are you, because you see are very preliminary. Uh, I know that who wrote a paper in, about entropy uh, a couple of uh, months ago, but I didn't read. But uh, yeah. it's, it's very very open here. You see, we just put very very silly potential yet. Uh, one thing that maybe is good to know is the following: everything is compatible. Let's say take a, a conformal measure in the standard Markov quantum Markov shift. So mm -hmm. you just up is a conformal measure. Take a restriction, you take a conformal measure in the big space. Take a restriction, is a conformal measure. You see, mm -hmm. it's very connected, but uh, we, we don't have, uh, let's say, much more than I just presented. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Leandro. Any more questions? I can ask a question. Um, so, if we can think about this as a boundary, um, does that put some restriction on the kind of potentials you can use? Because, for example, uh, for some boundaries, um, the continuity doesn't extend to the boundary, right? So, is this kind of general enough boundary to allow you to consider all continuous potentials for the original system? Or does it impose some restriction on the, the continuity class? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know yet. Okay. What happens sometimes is, is because, uh, because oh, for example, when you try to do silly things that say, ah, I don't know, you have, you have a finite words, let's put something depending of the, I don't know, the length. And this, everything is go wrong because the density of the both space, the, uh, easily you can get uh, the constant function. So, so it, this is, uh, I don't think that people know exactly a class of functions good enough to, to put in this uh, set. Uh, even because I, I, we discussed with Hui when we are, we were working together, and I remember there is no no answer. So that that's why I'm using this just a potential depending on the first coordinate because it's, it's some kind of difficult to 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 go. But, uh, but on the other hand, if you look for the second uh, paper, which are not about conformal measures but is about uh, uh, DLR measures, so there. Because, okay, let's say in one, one phrase, DLR measure is much more general than conformal measures and allows to you much more things. So in the sense that uh, there we work with collection of functions and not with a function. And we, we call potential a collection of functions. And then we, you, you can consider more general things. Here for the conformal one, uh, no. Okay. Um, and should we be expecting the um, the measure that you get to live on this boundary. I mean, you're uh, saying where they go, so maybe. Uh, you know. Well, okay. What we have until now is is more kind of uh, positive, because uh, we we have measures from outside that are going to the to the original measure. So let's say you have, you have conformal measures which are uh, have, have mass in the boundary. Let's say finite words and you can you can take the convergence to the original measure in for, for the potential and uh, 
and uh, we have some kind of extra measures. But uh, I mean, I, I mean, what, what I'm saying is the following: you don't have this a priori property that okay, I construct a measure and these measures are leaving the boundary. No, you don't have this. It depends on the temperature. If I read correctly, your your results at high. Depends on the temperature or the temperature, and there is no much example, so it's difficult to let's say. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So let me just ask a, a final question. Uh, you, if you don't have this kind of potentials that you depend only on, on one coordinate, then you have uh, a pressure, a notion of pressure which is pointwise, depends on the point. It's, it doesn't co coincide with the degree of which pressure. So uh, maybe for yes each, or maybe for not. Each point you could you could construct a different conform conformal measure. Yes. But 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 Paulo, look, this already happens in the Denker paper. Yes. Actually, yes. it's precisely this. Uh, the, the, for example, this you see the the there is not the, the shift, but uh, yeah, and yeah. maybe I should I should say to you something. Some okay, maybe I said something wrong. One of the results are general, which is this uh, one. Okay, sorry. You see, the potential is totally general. You see. The potential is totally general. Actually, the, the, okay. In the last, in the last case, only first coordinate. But here, so this is why I mentioned general. high temperature. Just, just bounded. Small beta. Uh, yes. Well. But you see, you see. Uh, okay. But one, one thing. This is for the renew shift. I admit. So is a particular shift. But the potential is very general. So for the for the renew shift, you can play for a lot of potentials. So, but the, there is no, in general, you don't, you don't know if you have a family of these pointwise conformal measures, you don't know how to select or, or if they eventually con coincide. So, yeah. No, no, uh, okay, uh, okay. What, what happens that, uh, okay, essentially the, the, the fact that when you play conformality with the renewal shift here and you use the fact that the, 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 the the say the extra points are countable, everything is connected and you can control. Okay. Yeah. This is the more or less the message. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, so, this is Xie. Can I ask a question? Yeah, please. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a bit different from yours, but I'm wondering that if you can define topological entropy for the countable topological Markov shift. Topological entropy. Yeah, uh, I mean, no, for, for the quantum, yes, you, 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 you can. Ah, okay. Then um, you, you talk about you don't know about entropy much, maybe, but um, it, uh, do you can say something like uh, principle, variational principle? Or? Yeah, it's a natural question, but we don't know also. Actually, you okay. have to explain to me about the entropy. We, we can work together. <laughs> or organic decomposition. Uh, no. Organic yeah. major. Is, is, uh, okay. Uh, about, okay. Uh, about ergodicity, about, we, 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 we didn't play about invariance here, if you, you realize it. And uh, yes, it's just, it's just the beginning. And uh, the, okay, for, for this slide, for example, the potential is general because the, the shift more or less is controlled. In some sense, this is the, the the main point. I can go further because the shift is is, uh, is very. I know precisely which are the words and etc. Otherwise, if the shift is very general, the potentials uh, I have to make uh, more careful about the potential. Okay, thank you very much. Your talk and answer. So thank you. And if there are no more questions, so let's. I will thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you for giving this talk and see you all next week. So bye-bye to you all.